In the last two tutorials, we had learned to create objects in separate scenes. But most often, we will need multiple objects in a single scene so that we can create animation. And for that, the first and foremost step is to position these objects inside school. So in this tutorial, we will be learning how to position more objects using money. So do watch the whole video and subscribe our channel for such more videos. So there are three major methods for positioning objects inside Manet. The first way is to position object with respect to distance from corners or edges, which may be left, right, up and down. Here the numerical value is representing the parameter buff, which measures the distance of an object from particular edge. The second way for positioning objects is to position it at some distance from an existing object towards any direction which may be left, right, up or down. At last, the final way is to position the object at any random point on the screen using the array of that location. So now let us jump inside our project folder and start writing some code. Okay, so I have opened position.py file inside my tutorials. Here I have written these things already that you know if you have seen past tutorials. So now let us create a circle object. Circle is equal to there is a circle class inside my name C radius is equal to let's say one color is equal to blue and stroke width. It will set the thickness of a uh, circle. And let us create another object square is equal to square and it has attribute side length equal to let's say 2 and color let us set it to yellow stroke width equal to 2. Now you can create other objects also for that you can visit the official documentation of my name CE which is here you will open this and go to reference manual now here Go inside the geometry and you can go under arc and here is a circle object see its various parameters are given here radius color which i had written there while writing the code so these are attributes all attributes that you can use while creating an object and here is an example also so under polygram there is a rectangle square triangle you can use all of these and you can see parameter here so now again open it now self dot play we can use a create method to show these objects create circle and create square and then self dot wait now let us see how it runs open a terminal and now let us write man in positions dot by dash pqm see they are overlapping each other we want to position them in different location now let us first of all position using the first method so circle dot to edge this is the method for any object to edge up this up is a keyword and set buff is equal to 1 this will position it unit distance from top and we can also position it from the left to edge left buff equal to 2 means it will position 2 units from the left ok now we will do this same thing for square dot 2 edge down and buff equal to 2 and square dot to edge right and buff equal to 2 now let us run the code again and let's see how it looks now see they are positioned perfectly now now let us use the second method as we know that we have positioned the circle so we can position square with respect to the circle so square dot next to by which we can position any object with respect to another object next to circle okay now we can write here right left up or down for right now i will write down so that it looks good and buff will set again the distance that how much distance from that object 
so let us write a2 okay so now let us run it again see it is two units down from sub now we can also set the position with respect to a numpy array square dot move to this is a method it moves an object to a location here we can pass an array let us enter 0 not 0 but 3 1 0 this is an array which we have passed now let us see how it positions the square see it has positioned it in this location so this is how we can position objects using that and do not forget to follow the official manim documentation here you can see many examples of many objects and you will also find many methods and attributes the source code of this video will be shared in github repository so don't forget to check that and in the next video we will be learning about transforms so stay tuned with us adios